Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. I know what you're thinking. How good is the quality of the Hyundai Palisade right here? Well, I'm going to show you by doing my engineer's audit. Let's go. Welcome back. So how well made is a Hyundai Palisade? Well, this one is built in Korea, not made in one of the US factories. And as you may or may not know, over the years, the Hyundai products have become really, really world-class, both in terms of overall manufacturing quality as well as long-term reliability. I know that you're probably doubting that because there's still some question marks in terms of long-term durability, but based on all the research I've done, including some of the survey feedback and engineer's feedback, Hyundai products have been very reliable over the years. And I'm going to show you right now that the manufacturing quality is excellent as well. So as you know, I do my usual panel alignment and panel gap check. So right here, I can tell you it's only about three millimeter here three millimeter here and it's also perfect alignment even around the corners here lines up perfectly and they've done something very smart which is to have this hood kind of go over the front fender like a clamshell so you can't even see the gap here in fact I can't really measure it very well it's about 2.8 millimeters if I have to measure it but it kind of fools your eye because it doesn't even look like there's any gap because this thing goes over so very smart engineering there the front fender the front door is 3.1 then 3.2 and maybe 3.5 millimeters so um, by any measures and any standard is world class most Toyota and Lexus products are around 3.5 to 4 millimeter as well so this is better than most of the other Japanese brands even some of the Toyota products uh, over here they've got something interesting usually this gap here is over here but in the case of Hyundai they have the actual entire rear end here wrapped around to the uh, rear fender here. So the gap is about three millimeters. But also when you look from the back, it looks more attractive because there's not as many gaps that you see over here. The panel alignment looks good. I know the car is a little bit dirty right now, but all the way through, it looks like it's coming off one single piece of metal. Uh, but in terms of paint job, I will say that there are a fair amount of um, orange peel, which is kind of texture of an orange peel literally. And I don't like to see this much amount of orange peel, a little bit more than what I like. But the quality of paint looks really good. The gloss and the finish is consistent. And the basic plastic trim also looks all good. I don't see any kind of defect and all the parts looks good. Even the plastic bumper here in terms of the paint matching and alignment looks fantastic. So if you're in doubt of Hyundai products in terms of reliability or quality, so far it's been proven to be really good, especially the ones that are made in Korea. Now let's measure the paint thickness to see how that stands out against others. So I have my paint thickness gauge right here, which measures the total amount of uh, paint thickness that's above the metal piece. And you want the paint thickness to be between 100 to 180 microns, thicker the better in terms of long-term durability, but the thickness of paint has nothing to do with the quality of the paint. But I definitely do not want paint thickness to be below 100 microns. That's getting a little bit too thin for me. So let's take a look to see what this Hyundai does. 109 on the front fender. 104 on the front door and 121 a little bit thicker here and finally over here in the rear fender 121 so the paint thickness is almost identical to every other Toyota products I've been measuring it's always ranging between 100 to 120 and it's very consistent the thickness is almost identical all the way through which means you know that the engineers and manufacturing people have done a great job of calibrating the equipment of the paint process to make sure that the paint thickness stays consistent and therefore the paint itself stays consistent. Now I will show you that the paint thickness is usually a little bit thinner on the roof here, 98.9 because the paint thickness is always a bit thinner on the roof because historically speaking nothing actually rusts on the top of the car. It tends to be always a problem on the bottom so they intentionally make the paint a little bit thinner on the top and then also because the paint tends to sag and flow down the bottom so paint is always thicker near the bottom of the car which is what you want anyway so so far the paint thickness is very consistent looks really good now let's take a look inside to see how good the quality of the materials and the engineering is for this Hyundai Palisade now I'm inside the Hyundai Palisade and this is where the Hyundai and even the Kia products truly shine compared to some of the Japanese competitors. The design and engineering is absolutely beautiful and world-class as you can see from a selection of materials like this glossy um, trims with the white lines and uh, selection of the materials here. This is actually plastic or vinyl but it looks like a real leather 
and the satin chrome finish here and also a textured pattern here that looks like aluminum absolutely fantastic into design nothing seems to be out of place when i do my punch test everything is solid and i did not hear any squeaks or rattles when i'm driving and we even get some high-end materials like a suede finish here which is what we call alcantara and you often find that in the very expensive european models but here in this sixty thousand dollar hyundai palisade you get this amazing level of materials and the fitness finish of all the parts looks fantastic all the buttons work well it's got a good tactile feel and thankfully we get real buttons for heat and audio controls and you don't end up with uh, everything in the infotainment system so i'm really glad that this one has all of the traditional buttons and controls that i really like as an engineer and in case you weren't aware the hyundai group actually hired away some of the top engineers and the designers from bmw audis and even mercedes and so you can tell that it has a very european feel in terms of the the switches the buttons also the design and everything looks premium and upscale uh, even looking better than some of the lexus models that we have i think the japanese have lost some edge when it comes to design and engineering lately and the korean brands are actually winning the business strategy to make uh, very compelling models in the marketplace for the right price so i really think the palisade is one of the best vehicles for the money and even though i owned um, a toyota highlander for three years i gotta admit this is actually a far better model in terms of price features and even drivability so materials looks really good design is beautiful now let's take it for a quick drive to see how it performs on the road so now i'm on the road with the hyundai palisade and this is where this product truly shines if what you want is the smoothest quietest and the most refined three-row suv for the money this thing drives like something that costs twice the price and it's way more comfortable and refined than let's say a toyota highlander which we own for three years and also many other products in this price range cannot match the level of uh, luxury and the feel of this palisade having said that this is a very soft car it is not a sporty car and so there's not much of communication between the road and my hand the steering is somewhat numb uh, it's smooth but very numb and it's quiet but not fun to drive so if you're looking for a sporty suv then head over to mazda cx90 which has significantly more a sporting character and it's much more fun to drive but if you want to have the ultimate luxury feel for the right price then this is that because this thing feels like a lexus uh, in fact it's better than most infinity or acura products but priced like a normal non-premium three-row suv so for the money i think this one is one of the best suvs out there along with this twin model kia telluride both are absolutely excellent they're both benchmark in this class and now with updates that they've done over the last couple of years it's better than ever and i'm really glad that they kept the v6 engine for this model because i think big suv really need a v6 engine and i'm not too crazy about turbocharged four cylinder engine such as the one that we now have on the toyota highlander and the upcoming grand highlander so it has a really premium feel which is what i like and it feels absolutely solid on the road and so for the price i think you simply cannot match the value that um, palisade offered so that is my engineer's perspective on the honda palisade it is very similar to kia telluride i really do like the design of this one better and i'm really happy that this still has a v6 engine and it is still made in asia let me know in the comments below what you think if you're able to give me a thumbs up that'll be appreciated and if you haven't done so would you kindly subscribe but for now i'm signing off thank you so much